In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a swept bend in cable tray. The cable tray we're using is 50mm wide. This cable tray is held up by brackets. This here is a swept bend, and it's in one continuous piece. And then we have a riser dropping down onto the ground. So, but in this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how to create this swept bend. The length of cable tray I'm going to give you is 700 millimeters long. Your first point of the swept bend is going to be at 250 millimeters. Your second point of the swept bend is going to be 350 millimeters. At both of those points, you're then going to cut off 20 millimeters of flange either side of that center line. First off, I'll measure 250 millimetres. Then 350 millimetres. Darken those lines with a board marker. Turn this round in the vise and mark my side cuts. Now, if we measure 20 millimetres either side of that centre line. darken those lines. Next we're going to use a hacksaw to cut up these marks and we're going to maintain that back edge. That will be our bend. Going to use a 32 tooth per inch hacksaw. Remember, we want to maintain that back edge so we don't cut that. Less confident with a saw, use both hands. Okay. Next up, we need to remove those two 20 millimeter sections.
to remove that bend very gently but loosely into the vise and pass the blade of the saw underneath it. Dress all of our cuts, remove the sharp edges. We open it out very gently. Now ready to join together. So I'll remove this piece. You see I've put some wood into the bench at exactly 90 degrees. You pass your one side under the other. And then offer it into to degree on the bench. And then we have a perfect sweat 90. And then let's join this together with roofing nuts and bolts. These are six millimeter bolts. We use the flat head to drop down into the tray so when you run cables over the top it won't interfere. Sure, your piece is at 90 before you tighten the bolts. Now, I'll personally cut off the end of these bolts. our swept 90. In the next part I'll show you how to make these sections to drop down and level out.